because 339 by 170. The reason why I did all of these is really because, um, you know, I like doing tutorials, but even though they might be basic, I want to make them a little bit complex. So I don't want to drag this one out too much. That's why I took out some of the features. But I still want you guys to have a nice little thing you can play around with uh, other than your penis when you've got some free time. So hopefully this will be good enough for you guys to mess around with. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to call... Um, just kind of pause this for a second so I can tell you guys where the image is. Okay then, so in your required, uh, files required folder, you should have a... Um, Look at this, that's the new symbol for the 2012 version, I think. Um, but anyways, don't worry about that. Um, in your new um, your files required folder, you should have a, um, a folder with a bunch of crosshair pictures. So get that and um, and paste that right here on your... Um, on your um, see, on your solution. So mine's here. So here are the pictures. Uh, don't worry about these arrows. That's what I had before. Uh, they might be there for you or not. If I remove them, I don't, it doesn't really matter. But you should have the pictures here. The pictures is not what we're going to draw, but they're just so you know uh, what you're going to have on your screen when you click one of them. Okay, so um, let's just assign each of them. So uh, every th single thing you want to do here is just, oops, just click all these, go properties, and we're going to um, remove any bit of text they might have. Uh, so text, mm, I don't know if we can delete all text at once. Yeah, we can, I think. So do... Yeah. Oh, come on. Why can't I change them all at once? That's, oh, there you can. Yes. All right. So what we're going to do then is we're going to add a background for each. So this can get a little bit boring, but it should be fine. Um, so background image. Once again, these are things that you don't have to do, but I recommend that we do them. So um, Visual Studio 2010, return to hacks. That's my folder. And C sharp direct X crosshair overlay. And then we've got a crosshairs folder. So our first one is going to be our... Uh, this one, normal crosshair, that one there. Uh, and one thing we're going to have to do is you'll notice that that didn't come up, and that's because we need to set the background image to stretch. There you go, beautiful. So the second one is uh, let's just choose a background image for this one. Uh, local resource import. And the second one is going to be our square, our clear square. Not this, not that one. Uh, where's that? Yeah, there you go. They might have weird names because um, I was doing a bunch of different things when I was labeling them. Labeling them. So the next one is going to be our full-on dot, and then after that we've got after the dot we have the smiley. So uh, when we do the um, the ESP, the process is going to be slightly similar to this one. And that's another advantage of uh, doing this in Manage C Sharp, um, Manage DirectX, sorry, um, is but uh, we have the Windows forms, which we, means we can have a nice interface uh, for whoever uses your um, your hack. So that's always a good thing, even though we're limited, obviously, but it's still a good thing. So remember, this one's the Predator, three dots, uh, and then we've got uh, Import. Uh, we have the f full on square, and the final one is our dot. Okay. Dot crosshair. Um, is it dot? No, it's, it's this one. Dot tri. I call it triangle because it used to be a triangle. But don't worry about that. Uh, I wasn't able to draw a triangle very well, so I gave up on that. So next thing you need is. Okay. So the next thing that you need is to change this one for properties, and we're going to do uh, drop down style. Change it to drop down list. I think. Yeah, there you go. That's the one we were looking for before. So copy that and paste it. Probably should have copied and pasted the title as well. And we're going to name this um, color because we're going to have a list of colors for the person to choose. So you can have your cross in whatever color you like. That's the good thing about this. So color, and then we have um, a picture box that we're going to create. So we might as well create two picture box boxes now because we're going to need them. Um, so there's one, and we're going to use this right here. I believe it's a picture box, isn't it? Uh, let's just gonna confirm. Let's call a picture box. Yeah, it is. So we're gonna create one here, copy and paste another one, and put one right around here. So this one's gonna have to be a specific one, and center back, um, center back. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. And then we're gonna have to change, put a background on this of that color uh, of lime, which is the color that we're gonna go for highlighting. And this goes along with why we are putting everything in specific positions. So this once again needs to be in specific position as well. And it should be in, I'm just confirming here, 
2465 and it's gonna have to be a specific size as well uh, so location is gonna have to be 24 as you can see there and size is gonna have to be let's just edit that 60 by 55 there you go that's it and this we're gonna use I don't know what the hell's up the outside parts of it um, background image default why is it all crappy on the sides I don't know actually just ignore it for now and then I'm sure it's something stupid and simple eh. Ah, fucking gay. Alright, so uh, we're going to have another one for size as well. We're going to go here, size. And that's that size there. And just so you can choose whether you want small, um, small crosshair, medium or large. Uh, I'm just going to go change that to size. Don't worry about labeling these properly because they're just titles. We don't really care about that. Size. And that's that one. And there you go. And then we're going to need a final button. Let's just uh, actually make a new uh, copy that doesn't really matter we change get rid of the color so make a final button where we're gonna go back on an image can I clear that nope I cannot so clear um, make an image and we're gonna do the um, four, uh, four colors gonna be black four color where's that so back color let's just change that to lime if you don't have lime on yours, which I'm, I'm sure you will, uh, just use a normal green, it doesn't really matter, whatever color you feel like using. And then black, which is the default one, which is a good thing. And then we're going to call this, we're going to say run. And then we're going to put F5 here, which is going to be our default. Oh, come on. Oh, shh. I put that in the wrong place. So um, just say run button. Okay. Run button. And then here we're going to call. Alright, uh, where's the text? There you go. So run F5. So once we've got this, um, you know, simple stuff out of the way, we'll get on with the more. Well, I don't think there's anything too difficult about this tutorial, so we'll change the, the font color right now, uh, size. There isn't anything too difficult about this actual tutorial. It's mostly um, straightforward, as you'll see. Um, there's a lot of steps involved, but it's nothing too difficult. So I'm going to increase the size of that, and we're going to say this one is. I'm gonna call this. What did I call it on my other one? Uh, call it to color picture box. Just call it that. That should be good enough. Color picture box. Color PB. That's what we're gonna call that one. And we're gonna to have to name our buttons now, which is essential. So this one is gonna be highlighter, lighter, uh, picture box, because it's gonna highlight whichever button we chose. And then we're gonna go. Can you hear that? There's an ambulance going by bunch of bastards uh, so normal crosshair button uh, so this is going to be normal I'm just going to see quickly what I call them here I really don't have to follow I just don't want to make any mistakes so normal crosshair button so we're going to call this normal cross hair button Let's copy the name there so we're going to, I'm going to change these things so uh, second one is uh, clear uh, square square crosshair and then we've got um, dot dot then we have smiley then we have predator predator and we have let's say solid square just go solid SQR crosshair and then we have circle dot let's call it circle dot circle dot crosshair button okay then so that is I believe pretty much everything that we need for this um, let's make sure sure that everything is properly labeled so we're gonna call this one uh, instead of combo box one we're gonna call it um, uh, app no, call it, just call it game window CB, which is for combo box. And then we got color, which is color combo box, color combo box. And then we have size combo box, combo box. Okay, so that should be good enough. We've got our colors here. We've got our, I believe everything is labeled now. Uh, we have our run button, haven't we? So one thing I want to do very quickly is just double click on a couple of things. So we have our functions here as we want them. So do all the buttons here as well. 
just so we have all the events down we can now get rid of this crap uh, just click that just so we got all the events that we want okay and there's our circle let's just do our color as well color combo box changed uh, size uh, we don't need to click those that's irrelevant and a run is that we've done that yeah all right. Yeah, we've done that. Um, actually, you should just leave that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it so far. So what we're going to do now is, uh, so we've created, an, and then we're going to create, import a class that we have uh, set up. Okay, so if you have a look at your, oops, getting rid of fabs there. If you have a look on your uh, files required folder, you may have or may not have about the same number of uh, files I've got here, but don't worry about it. You've got all the ones that you need, uh, but you should have these anyway. Uh, <clears throat> So as you can see here, the key input, we're going to have to import this. This is a class. Uh, <clears throat> I believe I've had this for quite a while now. I don't remember we orig originally came up with it. I think I got it from like a template years ago. But um, either that or I don't know. But it doesn't really matter. So let's just uh, import that into our project. So get the class. Uh, copy it. So copy, so copy. Uh, return to hacks. I'm going to go to my thingy again, to my folder. Go here and just put, put the, uh, the file right here. Okay, so we can import it nicely. Um, so go to C sharp, add uh, existing item. I'm going to go key import. Where is that? There you go. There it is. Right. Uh, no, no, no. And here you'll also find a couple of classes that um, I created to help us throughout the. Uh, oops, I dropped something. I think. I don't know. My stupid chair. But yeah, here's some classes I created that I think are kind of relevant to what we need, and there's a couple of other things as well. So. Um, you don't really have to worry about what's going on there, but you will see our work as we do this. So, first thing we're going to do now is going to get on with the code. So, quickly before I do that, something I forgot to say is, um, if you can see the uh, desktop background here, which is pretty cool, um, it was made by Crazy Wink at Guided Hacking, so if you want to check that out, uh, there should be a link, in the, a link in the description in case you want to download the background, so that should be cool enough there. Anyways, let's just get on with the coding now. Um, cause I, I'm only doing that cause sometimes you guys ask me for my backgrounds and, uh, hopefully soon I'll only have backgrounds for my site, uh, cause there are some cool people there that every now and then take time and do the backgrounds. So let's just define a couple of globals now. Um, so main, um, uh -huh. yeah, so here on our main form, we're going to go, let's get, give ourselves some space and create a couple of globals. So. As usual, I know you guys always request me for zooming in, so I'm just going to give you some extra font size. Let's create a list. Come on, where's all complete? Wow, why is everything so slow? That's amazing. Uh, so we're going to create a list of color CH, which is something that should have been added to this, and it hasn't for some reason. Uh, why are you not recognizing that color CH? Uh, I believe that's part of the key input, isn't it? Oh, it's because it's got a different namespace. Uh, let's just copy our namespace here. Oops, just ignore that. Then copy onto here, and then just go here, right click, rename, if it asks you for that. But there you go, that should answer that. Um, go here, color. Oh, come on. What's up with the autocomplete being an asshole? So color, CH, there it is. Um, and we're going to call it crosshair calls equals new list. And we're going to go color CH, of course. Color CH. Close that, open the brackets, and that's it. That's our color CH. And that's going to store our different colors that we're going to use on our uh, crosshairs. So we'll add to that in a second. So we need to include a couple of things that I forgot. So using system.diagnostics, which is very important for this. And I believe that is it. So that should work as a process. Yeah, that's why we need that. Uh, my processes, and if you followed my last tutorial, which I don't remember what it was. No, that was a cheat engine. The one before that, which uh, was what? I don't remember actually what it was. Uh, crap. Well, it was something that involved this as well, so you should be familiar with this by now. So string, game, choice, window. Just close that. I'm gonna make this one here a capital letter because it's a global. Just so we know what's what, and then we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna add a new form. Let's add a new form just now. Actually, do it in a second. So leave a bit of space there for that. Um, bool is loaded. Bool is loaded. Uh, equals false. And bool 
across there. 